Ask me. Ask me. Go and stand there. You'll be healed. Look at me, Mama. It's only when I pray for my mother I begin to remember that I'm supposed to pray for sick people. Asthma. 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 You are here. Let's, let me get another one. Daddy, high blood pressure and sometimes I feel like I'm very anxious. Anxious. Mm. Come. I understand you are very worried. You must stop worrying. My sister, you must stop worrying. God wants to honor you. You must stop worrying. Yes, Daddy. Eh? Yes, you are daddy. very, very worried. Yes, very daddy. worried. Jesus name. You are free. My my womb and my legs are very sore. It's like something is moving up and down. Come, Mama. Where do you come from? Huh? Mahalis Beg. Come. Mahalis Beg. Is this side yeah, Mahalis Beg, side of Rustenberg. Look at me. So when I look inside your womb, you dance like this. Because this thing is a spirit. It must come out of you. Come on! That's why, Korombi, I normally tell people that when you want to marry, you must bring a person you want to marry in the church. Because think about you marry a lady of Mahalis. When you are in honeymoon, you are two. Very close to the sea. Like this. She began to do like this. Like she want to. You are, you are two. And you are sitting there. And she's beginning to do like this. In honeymoon. And remember, maybe it happens by the first day. First day when you are there. And then you are supposed to spend the whole week. You are seeing this. I'm sure I understand what I'm trying to say. So when you want to marry, I mean, you, brother, and your sister, because you don't know. You don't know whom you are marrying. You don't know. You'll be surprised the whole night. The person is standing. You, will you sleep when the person is doing like this the whole night? Huh? Can you sleep? So, my sister, this is a Sangoma spirit that is troubling you because of the Sangoma people in your family. This thing must leave you today. You hear me? Yes. It must leave you. Yes. Yeah. It's a Sangoma spirit. It is leaving your legs now. In Jesus' name. And this thing doesn't want you to stay with a man. Come on, you spirit. My sister, it has left your legs. You are free. You are free. The lady there, she's sick, this one. Can you stand up? You didn't come forward, but me, I see sickness in you. You don't know you are sick, eh? Why you didn't come forward? I can't hear you. So she doesn't know she's sick. People know they are sick uh, by pain. 
People, they know they are sick, but they start to feel pain. If you say, you are sick, you say, no, no, no. We pray for you. Sometimes when I say you are sick, you, you say you're not sick. I pray for you and say, let the sickness begin to work nicely. <laughs> Next time you come back, he says, Pastor, what you told me now, I'm feeling it. I didn't know it. I say, but this is the sickness that was supposed to trouble you. I mean, maybe after two months. Right now, you were not hearing anything. Remember that there is something in you that you don't even know what is happening in your, inside you, isn't it? So, my sister, I just want you to, to hold your breast. To hold your breast there, yes. I stop this thing that devil is trying to do in you. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You will never be sick of your breast. In Jesus' name. You'll never be sick of your breast. Look what she's doing now. Look what she's doing now. Look at that lady who says she doesn't know she's sick. It's a demon sitting in that breast. What are you doing there? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? Nikomita minianepo. Can you just interpret and vent? Otherwise, everybody will think I'm vent. That lady there, you, my sister, you are sick. Yes. You, you are sick also. There's a spirit on you that I'm seeing. It hit you here. Yes. Huh? Yes. So, why you didn't come forward? Because now it is starting on you. It's like something like a razor. I, I didn't tell you there's a sickness because... This is going to bring a cyst. You know, there's something called a cyst. Go and find out what is a cyst. It starts there. Can you touch your stomach? I set you free. Can you see what that lady is doing now? This cyst must leave you in Jesus' name. There's a sickness on you, come. You must stop worrying, eh? You understand? Yes. Eh? Yes. You must stop worrying. You are beginning to forget things. Yes, it's eh? true. It's eh? true. So it's affecting your mind. Yes, I'm, I'm also taking pills for stress. You're doing what? I'm taking pills. So can you hear that? Give glory to God. Okay. I just want you to know that God is going to strengthen you from today. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah? So, as I'm praying for you, you are free in Jesus' name. My yeah, sister, I'm seeing sickness on you. Huh? I went to the doctor yesterday. My blood pressure go, was... Did you go forward here? I didn't because last week I came forward to pray for me for high blood pressure. I prayed for you last week. Yes. Come to me again. Go ahead, go ahead and turn there. Go and tell. My sister, you will never be sick. Go. You will never be sick in the name of Jesus. Today I'm dealing with sickness. My sister, you are free in Jesus' name. You are free. Brother, I want to pray for you. You hear me? Yes. Eh? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the devil is attacking your private. Yes. Uh, you are becoming very weak. Yes. Eh? Yes. And uh, is it not a sickness? Yeah, it's a sickness. Did you tell anybody you're sick? No. Eh? No. Come, come to me here. This is an attack to you. This attack has left you. Can you just, can you just come? You must pray against high blood. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. Uh, it's a disease of your family. It's coming to you. Amen. Uh, it just makes you tired. Amen. Uh, you were questioning why you're becoming tired. Amen. Okay. okay. Eh? Amen. Come on, come on. My brother, you are free. You are free in Jesus.